Hello, 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 beautiful beings, and welcome back to my channel. It's your mystic journey divine coming to you on this wonderful Tuesday. A beautiful day that Source has made. God, energy, Allah, Jehovah, Hara, whatever you choose to call your creator. We be exceedingly glad in it. Yes? Yes. Do I look tired today, y'all? I'm not. Although I've been up very early, doing a lot of things. I'm a mother. Laundry. Oh, excuse me. Laundry. <laughs> cleaning, getting ready for spring. How are you today, beautiful beloved? I got some dark circles in my eyes. Believe me. Mm. It's the menopause thing. <laughs> yes, it's challenging me. But I am wearing it well. And overcoming the challenges of the changing of life. So grateful to be able to be here and go through the changing of life. But, hmm, Mother Nature <laughs> ain't no joke. <laughs> I digress. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here today to do our energetic pull to find out what energy is in the air collectively as a whole throughout the universe. What is taking majority rule when it comes to the energy? Are we receiving it? Are we transmuting it? Is it meant for us? Are there confirmations and warnings that we need to be vigilant? The OCD, y'all. Mm, my little baby. baby bump. No, I'm not pregnant. I've had three children. That's with baby bump. Don't go running away with too old to be having babies. That'd be a real miracle of God. Um, what is the energy spirit? What are we in the midst of? We're a day and a half past the full moon in Leo, fire energy, love, passion, all the message, all the cause, income and love. Incoming friendship, incoming partnerships, incoming. Spring is coming. The earth is about to open up and bloom. Yes, it is. What harvest have you planted? Are you ready? Are you ready for that new love? That new partnership, that new business? That new excursion, that new soul journey. Are you ready? Are you getting ready? Getting grounded, getting focused, getting motivated, getting creative. Are you resting, eating well, taking care of your temple? Offering and speaking and praying to your ancestors, your spirit guides, Mom and Gaia. I could shuffle all day. I just love the feel, the energetic feel of these cards in my hand. Sometimes I'm home. I'm channeling. I can't put them down. 
That's what I do, y'all. Now, this little yep is making me look fluffy. At a whopping five foot two, <laughs> I'm little, stacked and packed in all the right places. Skinny in the waist and pretty in the face. But I'm sitting down and I'm spread all over the place. <laughs> all right, spirit. What is the collective energy in the air on this Tuesday? Speak to us. Channel through me. Let my beloveds, my watchers, my collectives, my supporters, my subscribers know what is the energy in the air for today. What is moving the planet? Ah, two cars. That means they're working off of each other's energy. And it must be a reading based on two energies. Ooh. Judgment. Abundance. Y'all know where I'm going with this, don't you? Mm-hmm. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths. And challenges. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Let's start with judgment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be open and transparent with y'all. There's some witches they're just karmic energies, haters, non-supporters, and I have no enemies. So let me just enlighten positivity. I stay in my realm. I keep my peace. I spread love. But somebody or bodies try to come for me. In my own home. Y'all. They didn't know. Who I flow with. Who I sit with. Who I talk with. Who covers me. And my seeds. So they tried it. Have mercy on them. Wherever they be. Because my ancestors... And spirit God, don't play about me. And they're angry. So how poetic that I pull the judgment card for the energy of the day. Two sides of a coin. Thou shalt be judged who do unjust, negative, toxic work, who send demonic, hurtful, harmful energies into the universe, who come from the, who come for the blessed and the favorite by the creator of all, whose ancestors are more powerful now that they've ascended. about to have a ball. Judgment has been called. I have been alerted and assured anything and anyone trying to stop me, delay me, stagnate me, destroy me, take what's mine. Mm -hmm. Harm me or my children, my home, my abundance. Shall face the wrath, shall face the wrath of the gods. And I mean 
the giants, the powerful ones, the warrior spirits that protect the earth angels and the star seeds from the energy of the third world who refuses to ascend and wake up and live intentionally in the light. As it is said, as it is will, so more to be, and it is done. Judgment on the other side of the coin. You are awakened, beloved. You are favored, beloved. You are envied by the most. They are jealous of your presence. They are jealous of your gifts. They are jealous of your calling because they know who you are and what it is. They seek you out to destroy you and to lay you from your success. Spirit is here to let you know, baby girl, baby boy. You will progress. Prosperity and abundance are in your near future. You shall continue to manifest this with all your might, and all your energy. Stay in your positivity and look to the light. Don't be drawn to revenge, to bitterness, to avenge. God is the weapon. And God is on deck. You need not break a sweat, baby. It is done. Judgment has been called on your enemies. Your unjust, unrighteous ones. You may not even know who they are. They may not even know you personally. But they know you. They're looking into you. They're seeing about you. They want to be you, beloved. That you are blessed. Abundant in all areas of your life. Good health. Great wealth. Prosperity, fertility. Spiritual ascension. Traveling mercy. Beloved, love untold that only you will hold this season is all for you. Do you hear the will of fortune turning in your favor? Because I do. Stay humble. Stay grateful. Stay integrous. Stay humble and do not judge for they are not you. They cannot be you. Pity on them. Pray for your enemies that they find their truth and their awakening and the peace within you be also within them. The energy of the day is judgment. The universe is calling judgment. Which side of the table do you sit on? Who are you communicating, conjuring, collaborating, and manifesting with? Will it bring you this? Or will it bring you this? It turns on the energy of where you sit here and now in this moment. Judgment is being called. A release of soldiers has been sent from the heavens to the earth to protect those in this season of love, February 
season of reveal 2023 with Mercury and Capricorn, Venus and Pisces, the moon and Leo. We are on fire, the collective. Yes. Ready. Able. Totally backed by the universe. All those who are not falling in line will fall away. How low would you like to go? I suggest you decide what you'd like to be in reciprocation, what you'd like to receive, to be in receipt of from the universe. And then move accordingly. Intentionally. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for that confirmation. Thank you for your adoration, your acknowledgement, your protection, your guidance, your leadership, your energy. This direction. As I said, I see the change in you. Maybe you've been experiencing this lately. Are you looking in the mirror? No one's saying you look different. Your eyes, your skin, your voice. Is your hair growing? Is your skin improving? Is that pain gone from your back? So you now have ease of movement. Emotion that maybe six months six months ago you were in lack of fluidity in your joints attached to a toxic energy. Now we're going to, yes, spirit. Before I pull my daily inspirational card for my divine fans, hey, girl, <laughs> from my Love Thyself Oracle deck, personally made and designed, inspired, channeled, and activated by me for you, and you and you and you, and those fans you love too. Mm -hmm. If you have not seen the movie, and this is not a promotion, if you have not seen the movie The Reader on BET, starring Monique, the comedian, y'all know her, queen, sister girl, you gotta go see it, you gotta download it, you gotta get it on your screen. There's a scene in there where she is possessed by outside energies, channeling, and they take control of her body. She becomes stiff and rigid, like a robot in movement, crackling, breaking, feeling no pain. When someone is invading your energy, negatively, toxicity, when you're laying with that toxic partner that you know you shouldn't, And you're giving away your power and you know you shouldn't to the wrong energy. When you're addictive. When you're addicted. To toxicity. Impurities. Lust. Pain. Misfortune. You continue to allow yourself to be misdirected and used 
and lied to him, cheated on. I know how you can check if you are actually living in the presence of that negativity within your body. If you have severe back issues, you can understand why. Sitting up is painful. Bending over, undoable. You used to get such a floor, but now you can barely touch your knees. Your legs, restless night syndrome at night time. You wake up, they're heavy. They're numb. You could send you to have headaches, itchy skin, rashes, your hair is falling out. And not for the natural changes of menopause or any other kind of condition. Because some people like to try to use that to get attention. We're not talking about you, boo. Just going through phases of change. Go to the doctor and see about you. But for us, spiritualists, diviners, healers, readers, psychics, mediums, gifted beings, you know when you allow when you are allowing yourself in the presence of evil, your body will be the first to let you know. Babies, painful sex with that demonic entity, continual UTIs and vaginal issues. But you've only got one partner. Changes in your breath. And it's not for the pleasant. Changes in your body odor are signs. Constant vaginosis. All these things also having medical issues tied to them, depending on your diet, how you take care of yourself. Of course, that also weighs heavy on with your experience. But if you are doing everything you're supposed to be doing, cleansing, purifying, and still muscle pain, joint pain, arthritic pain, and you're not elderly. There's something going on in your energy that you may be allowing, choosing. It's judgment time, beautiful. It's judgment time. Do you want to be this? Because if that is going on, you are not this for sure. Let's see what spirit has to say. I don't know if I shall see. One more. <laughs> to our beloved divine fans watching. This pull is for you, love. As I'm incorporating it in my daily energetic greeting. Spirit, divine Come on now. Heal. Who's that just speaking about? Heal. And heal is not temporary. Heal is let it go. Let God move on. Remove it. You can't just keep rescinding and then picking up the same drink of poison 
and then not understanding why I gave myself permission to take the necessary time to heal and restore my wholeness. That speaks for itself. You are your biggest priority. You are your biggest fan. You are your only reason. Don't let someone else be you. Do you. Control you. Take back control of your life. Take back control of your energy. Take back control of your destiny. Get grounded. Get aligned. Get balanced. It's time. Spring is coming. It's around the corner. And all of those of us who are supposed to pull in the bountiful harvest of abundance, do it now so you can be in the number. So you can receive. So you can bring your baskets and collect. So you can play and live and be free. In abundance. Your worries gone about bills. Money. You want to travel, you'll travel. You want to eat out, you'll eat. But you got to heal thyself by loving thyself. Knowing thyself and removing everything else. that is not of thyself and the highest good. That's it. Point blank. Period. Who? There ain't no option to. Do you? I'm going to continue doing me beautifully. Oh, that reminded me. Before you go. Give me a minute. I have to get up to get this. Don't look at Baba. I must, I must, I must. Jennifer, Jennifer Latifa, also known as Jen, my friend, my new friend, one of my subscribers, hit me up. An email to acknowledge me and my energy and what I give. She's the owner of Earth Crystal Vibes. Earth Crystal Vibes. One word. You can find on Instagram. She put a care package, a love package together. It's a crystal shop to send me some love. I'm honored. I appreciate you, Jennifer Latifa. <laughs> if you're here, girl, you go, boo. I love you, beloved. Thank you for honoring me, loving me, and seeing me, and understanding what I do. May this find you in good spirits and help to raise your vibe. I appreciate you. Keep going beautiful. Much love, Jen. She sent me some beautiful gems, stones, so I must show them. An amateurine bracelet, a flower gate pump. Let me show you all. She sent me this beautiful amateurine bracelet. Now, I've seen this in clear quartz. I've never seen the amateurine. It's a beautiful hue of purple lilac. Can you see that? 
And this, yes, this is my favorite stone, by the way. And it came in this beautiful little bag for protection. Well, y'all, look at this beautiful. Look at this. Can you see that? Can you see the crackles in that? There's a crackled clear quartz. And this substantial weight. Look at this. Amethyst Aura Tower. Now, um, this is my tarot card. This is the size of it. These, I believe, are uh, three by three, three by five, three by five. So heavy, beautiful hints of pinks, yellows, golds. The piece de resistance. Do you see this labradorite? Oh my God. It's flat on the back. It's an eye. It is the connection to psychic stone. Connection to spirit. Yes, elevates. And look at this. This is a flower, a gate. Oh, beautiful. Jennifer, Queen, thank you. I'm charging them, so I'm going to so I'll put them back where they were. Yes. I'm so always cleansing charge. Oh, how sorry, y'all. While I was talking, getting too excited over my gifts, my phone fell off. Where it's being held, so yeah. Anyway, how did I forget the best piece? This is, I don't know, I'm sorry. I showed that already. I showed that already. The crackle, yes. I have another stone, but I realized I got this from somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Put your heart in it. Is the card she sent along with the gifts. Beautifully packaged. If you're looking to buy gemstones of good quality, check out Jennifer on Earth Crystal Vibes on Instagram. Support her. Thank you, beloved. May Spirit bless you ten times for giving of your energy and love. Okay, that was the end. <laughs> Remember, my friend, stay in your positivity, stay in your love and your light, protect your energy, renew, restore yourself. Abundance is on deck, claim it. Let it feel your vibration and seek you out. Cling to you and never leave you. And for my ladies, it's time to heal. It's time to purge, heal, overcome, and move on with no regret. This is the season of love. It's the year of reveal. We're in a full moon, Leo. We're in fire energy, passion, desire. Once, which is why I probably got so many neck. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> yes, easy to yes. Thank you for watching, for coming again to the channel. Tap, tap, tap the like. Tap, tap, tap the like. And share your energy with me. And receive, receive, receive. That is how it works. You share your energy into the universe. Spirit picks up on your vibration and rewards you. Tenfold. Riches in heaven are immeasurable. 
and my mother father kingdoms their walls and floors made of gold the water flows like milk and honey mm. <sighs> enjoy the rest of your beautiful Tuesday As within, so without. As above, so below. And until we meet again, beloved. I say, like, share, and subscribe the video, you know. <laughs>